much for giving us your time. Um, could I ask you to uh, first tell us, you know, introduce yourself, tell us who you are, what work you, you do and where? Okay. My name is Karl Kravitz. Uh, I'm working in Austria. Uh, I'm a researcher by profession, uh, doing research in uh, health uh, and long-term care and health promotion. And I'm working currently at uh, the Ludwig Boltzmann Institute uh, for Health Promotion Research. And uh, my background is in uh, sociology. Mm -hmm. And I have a long uh, standing uh, work tradition in health and health care. Mm -hmm. uh, You've mentioned long term care, yeah. uh, but uh, what we mean by long term care tends to vary, uh, you know, definition uh, across countries. So, could you very briefly define what you mean by long-term care? Well, what I mean by long-term care is the, mixed or the mix of uh, health and social care uh, that uh, people who are vulnerable and to some extent dependent uh, on uh, support in uh, their daily needs. Um, <coughs> it, it's a it's a mix that uh, varies from a lot, uh, a lot of so from from mainly social care to uh, much health care. Uh, but uh, I can see on the health care side, uh, looking at, at all people uh, with chronic uh, illnesses, uh, there is much more about long-term care. Uh, than we consider it. Long-term care mm. classically is understood as psychiatric long-term care and uh, care of young disabled and uh, aged care. Okay. What I'm personally working on is aged care mm -hmm. uh, and this has been the focus of my work the last uh, five years uh, and so what I'm going to uh, the direction of, uh, of answers will be uh, attuned to aged care. Great, thank you very much. So, um, thinking then about aged care in Austria um, and, and the long-term care system defined as such yeah. uh, in Austria, what would you say are the three top pri policy priorities or challenges uh, currently? Well, the top priority is financing, uh, another top priority is governance, uh, and uh, a third, uh, which is perhaps not a priority, but uh, a question mark, that is uh, uh, how to uh, sustain the uh, informal care system, uh, which is the backbone of the system. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so. <coughs> Financing formal care, uh, a big question. Uh, currently still uh, working somehow, but uh, this, the system is somehow uh, doctored around, yeah, and there's one measure after the other, uh, and that is partly due to a very difficult uh, government system, because in Austria, long-term care, aged care is uh, a responsibility of the local communities, um, and then, uh, but the local communities have very little uh, leeway mm -hmm. uh, and very little resources, and so they depend on regional governments, and they, uh, on the other hand, financially depend on national governments, and it's, it's somewhat ridiculous. It's a small country, mm -hmm. and you have many different uh, governance structures, and uh, overall it's not solved. Mm -hmm. uh, who really can? make an influence there. Do you get the, a sense that the current international financial crisis is having an effect on this challenge, this, uh, this uh, sus financial sustainability challenge, or is it a long-standing? It's a long-standing problem. It's not acute. It's, uh, it's long-standing. And what I've been hearing here at the conference about uh, trends and tendencies in uh, Scandinavia and uh, in Germany or so is uh, to some extent, we are sharing just the same problems, mm -hmm. yeah? and we can. S I can see that Austrian policy is somehow meddling around with the questions in a 
similar way like other uh, political systems do. Mm -hmm. uh, very slow in accepting that uh, it's going to be a more uh, relevant problem, also politically more relevant problem. Uh, I've I've conducted uh, an expert, in, expert interviews two years ago uh, around the issue of um, if health promotion is an issue for the uh, for that sector. And uh, when talking to uh, to experts in the in the area, the somehow the perspective is that uh, politics doesn't want to uh, acknowledge mm -hmm. that this is going to get higher on the agenda. And uh, also that this going that this is going to be financially more important, and uh, it will be more important to take more achieve, to to accept more public responsibility. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So now, think of yourself as as the man with the power. You know the the yeah. dictator. Which which uh, benevolent dictator, of course. Uh, okay. Which uh, policy? you know, reform would you introduce at the moment? I think what is necessary is to uh, see that uh, for the specific group of uh, the old and the very old, uh, uh, if one, one wants to make a, uh, an impact on health and well-being, uh, medicine uh, and medical technical interventions are uh, one specific measure, uh, but uh, what is regarded as social care uh, or psychosocial support uh, has a health impact that is perhaps as strong uh, or even stronger than many medical measures. And there is a huge difference in the way the public assumes uh, regulatory and financial responsibility. You can, in Austria you can get an operation if, uh, if you are 90 uh, and if you pass uh, then afterwards you last half year on the intensive care unit and consume hundreds and thousands of euro, nobody says a word. If you need personal support, uh, perhaps not two hours a day but three hours, it's impossible. Mm. Uh, so, this is a complete imbalance uh, because it is somehow not understood and not accepted that long-term care is about health mm -hmm. and uh, it's not taken into account uh, what really is the health outcome of uh, specific measures mm -hmm. or in specific public expenditure, but here you have the clear uh, fact that uh, the medical lobby uh, is able to uh, position its uh, interventions as in the public interest and everybody has to have it uh, to the very end uh, and other, other people who are offering uh, even better interventions are not mm. and mm. That's, the outcome is problematic. So that would be my priority. Mm. Uh, to accept, uh, to, to make it uh, accepted and understood that people get what they really need for their mm -hmm. health in a comprehensive sense. Mm -hmm. And from a research point of view, what do you think uh, is required as, as, you know, what new evidence is required in order to advance uh, the policy? Well, what I think, uh, if I take seriously what I said now, uh, we really have to do uh, a serious research about the health impact of uh, different interventions in a comparative sense mm -hmm. yeah? and that I think that's a big program because uh, as far as I can see social care interventions have so far not been researched for their health effects. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been somehow argued on a different line also because uh, in my understanding it's coming out of different uh, professional traditions and belongs to different departments uh, and I think uh, the only solution to get uh, social care out of the, uh, the corner of being care for the poor 
uh, is to explicitly relate them to health issues mm -hmm. because health issues have a different status in this society. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I, I, I would like to finish just with five quick questions. Yeah. And um, in these questions, I would like you to try to rate the system in Austria between uh, 1 and 10. Uh, you can add some context, uh, you know, a brief context if you want to your answers, but if you could try to, to, to basically rate the system between 1 and 10, starting, 10 meaning the best, by the way, and 1 the worst, um, starting with, um, you know, the, the, priori the policy priority that is allocated to long-term care as a policy issue in, in Austria. Um, it is uh, discussed and it gets attention, but uh, as it, the way it is discussed, I would say not more than five. Thank you. In terms of um, the quality of the care that it provides to, to, to people with uh, long-term uh, conditions? Uh, it varies widely. Uh, overall, I think it's acceptable uh, with huge variations. Okay, I'd say a seven. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of people's awareness of what the system has got to offer them, how aware do you think uh, individuals are of what they would receive if they were to, uh, to this need? Is, uh, uh, one of the big weaknesses, I would say, is three. Oh, very good. And finally, uh, how well does it do um, when caring for the, the, the needs of informal carers? Not more than a three. This is a, a, a big problem. I'm going to add one more, which I think you've touched on, so you probably, uh, and I expect probably in a very high <laughs> mark, but about the coordination between the different bits in the system. The, the coordination between, for it's example, highly habits. fragmented. Mm -hmm. So, if you, if you had to rate it, on fragmentation, uh, uh, concerning the ideal, I would say two or two to three. It's not much better. We have seen uh, several attempts, also a model project and so, but but overall, it had not. Have, there are still. Uh, a lot of well, if I take uh, into account what have uh, what was achieved in the last uh, ten years, fifteen years, I would say okay, a four. It's Great. moving. It's getting better a bit. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.